What's up guys? Tucker from Funnish Dream here today to bring you the review of the Brian RP3 number two. The Brian RP3 number two offers many, many improvements off the Brian RP3 one. The RP3 one was a very um, pinched head for the most part that it was easy warping. Um, couldn't be used so much as an attack head as it was really good for middies. Um, now the RP32 only comes in an X spec because Brian decided to transition over to the um, new rules that are going to start in 2018 where every head will have to be X spec. So a lot of companies are making that move and that's what's happening with Brian. That's why you're only going to see the Brian RP32 in an X spec. I strung up mine with a mid low pocket. Um, right here as you can see not very legal because this is the off season and I like using wider heads with deeper pockets like this um, I have it strung with two um, fire threads straights in the snow white um, as well as one fire thread nylon strung up with the new mogul mesh um, very cool die as you can see here really nice pocket turned out really really nice um, really liking this head so far used it for the first or the last, I'd say, six weeks of the season. No, I'd say actually four weeks of the season. Um, great, great head. Love the width of it. The um, stiffness is amazing. You won't find an attack head with this stiffness that is matched to this. Um, they've made a, a few aesthetic improvements as well with the jewel here. As you can see, I've beat up a little bit, but they have a nice jewel on all their new brine heads. The ball stop is quite a bit nicer, as you can see right there. Um, and their whole um, sidewall rails are now hollowed out a lot cleaner than the original Brian RP3 um, making it look a lot more aesthetically pleasing um, the sides also feature jewels with the RP3 logo for Rob Pinnell himself um, and they also offer many many more stringing hole options in the sides as you can see making this a lot easier head to string uh, this for me was a big selling point to have a head this wide that has so many stringing holes and allows you truly to string any type of pocket with a lot of channel. That's a big thing for me. As you can see here, I got some nice channel in it. Um, turned out very nice. The perfect amount, if you ask me. Um, another improvement made was on the top of the uh, scoop here. Um, you'll see the top string holes also have a bar going through them. Depending on the color of RP32 you buy, they will have a coordinating color um, bar across the white has a gray the black has a neon green for the lizards and I believe there's a gray addition with kind of a pinkish color I could be wrong though um, this allows you to string any type of top string does not interfere whatsoever very large top string holes as you can see but this also allows you to go down for ground bowls and it retains its stiffness which is really really incredible so it may look like a gimmick at first, but when you go down for a ground ball, you're going to feel the difference. It's not going to give in on you. You're going to be able to scoop right through and go to the next game. Um, everything about this head, I can confidently say, has been improved. The face shape is going to look a little bit odd at first for most people because it's a very wide head with a very odd face shape. It flares up right about here. Um, but once you start playing with it, you're going to notice it doesn't really affect your play very much. The stringing options allow you to string it more like an HS head and it really does allow you to be a very versatile player. Um, everything about this head I can 100% and confidently totally agree with and suggest to others. So go pick up an RP32 today and give it a try. I definitely suggest it.